All right, he's joining us now. Charger quarterback Philip Rivers. Philip, how are you this morning? Morning, guys. What's happening? Yeah, Nick, you can't tell me you like those uniforms. They're terrible. I'm a big I like dude. That is not gold. No, I really enjoy those. Maybe it takes me back to my Purdue days. Oh. <laughs> That's what it is. Just that black and gold. Hey, Philip, a lot of people have never experienced what you guys did in the locker room after the Atlanta Falcons game. Feeling that good. Can you describe the emotions of a comeback victory in overtime on the road? How good does that feel? Oh my gosh. I mean, it's about as good as it gets. And it's been so long. You know, we had it we had a handful of those over at that run over the last ten years and we hadn't had had any in a while. You know, the first one that came to mind was was in Baltimore in fourteen. It was kinda like that. You know, we we drove we were down ten with about nine minutes to go and ended up throwing that touchdown to Eddie with about thirty seconds and beating them there in fourteen and um how awesome that is on the road and with a with a long flight home ahead knowing you've won. So for our young team, for the most part a young team, it was uh a lot of a lot of lessons learned and a lot of experience gained. I think these last two weeks that uh, will help us down the road. And now we now we go on the road in the division. So we get we get both now combined uh, here on Sunday. Looking forward to it. Phil, you were kind of credited with uh, not allowing anyone to feel any sort of feeling of quit at halftime or that this game was lost because you're trailing such a great offense. Did, did you do anything different? Was this a moment where enough is enough? We're not going to lose this football game. Well, I, you know, I didn't get this. I didn't, I, I shoot. I can't take credit for that in a sense. I, I, and I don't know that every guy heard me, but a handful that were in there right, right at the beginning when we walked in at halftime, I just said, Hey, we're going to, we're going to win this game. Y'all believe we're going to win this game. I, and and I, there's a few of us in there. I don't know that. Uh, it's easy to say that, right? And, and to go do it, it's a whole different story. So I think it's really just a credit to everybody, to the way they play, the defense believing that we can hold them to three in the second half. And and then offensively, us doing what we what we did, battling back, being down down ten, and really the drive down ten with you know that went fifteen plays or whatever it did uh, to cut it to three. That was the to me that was the offensively the game winning drive that was the that was the key that was the biggest drive of the game Phil what's it do for your mentality as an offense when you're able to see your defense go out against the Atlanta Falcons and hold them to three points in the second half I mean it's it's all it's huge it's huge and and I was aggravated to be honest at the end of the, at the start of the third quarter they stopped them right away and then we went three and out I was so mad because I just I, not that I didn't believe our D would do it the whole half they did it but you, you just you can't bank on that, you know. We're down ten points starting the third, and they, they got us. A, they got us a three and out, and then we didn't do squat with it. So I was aggravated because I felt like we we're going to have to <clears throat> gain a score here, or there, obviously down ten to chip back into it to keep up with them scoring a few more times, just because of what they had done the first six weeks. But uh, our defense was awesome; they have been now for two weeks.